Hello and welcome to another episode of the Steam Free to Play. I wanted to start off the recording here because when I logged back into my account, I have a day of free premium time, and you may notice this because there currently is an event going on, and this is the Holiday Leaderboard and Challenge event. Uh, they do these kind of events quite often, actually, where they will have different criteria. So you get a victory in conquest, you get a consumable pack, you get a million sea bills from doing your goals, you get another half a million for free. And they have all these these things here. And also, typically, they'll have a leaderboard. So um, people who are running certain mechs and stuff like that will be able to compete against each other. Uh, this leaderboard is for the newly released 2C mechs. So I won't be able to use... I won't be able to, to fight for the leaderboard on this account, at least, because I don't have any on this account. And also on the performance packs, which can be... Uh, purchased through the, the Steam store page. But we can see our personal challenge um, progress here. You can either do it by clicking that link within that posting, or if you just want to go from the front page, you go from the MechWarrior front page, as soon as it loads, you go into your profile, and you go, and this is my stats here, I'll publicly display that. You go into your stats, and then you go challenges, and that's the where you can see your um, progress throughout these things. So you can see this one day of premium premium time was from two assault victories, and so we can look at some of these other ones. Like, okay, we need two more skirmish wins, and we get another day of premium time. We need one more kill, and we get a war horn that makes a sound whenever we get a kill. That's really cool. Um, so we can get a cockpit items if we get 35 kill assists. We're so far out of all of these things. So I'm going to be trying to get through these challenges. And the fact that I've gotten premium time gives me an opportunity to talk about premium time. So I'm going to go into the game and talk about that for a second. So premium time works just like in World of Tanks and those kind of games where it gives you a boost to your in-game earnings by 50%. And this is both for your C-Bills and your experience for your mech. Connect, connect game, come on. And that's great. So to greatly improve our ability to gain C-Bills as we play. So you can see down here in the bottom left, premium time remaining 23 minutes, not 23 minutes, 23 hours, 55 minutes, so 24 hours of premium time. Now this does burn down while you are not playing, so if I had logged out from now and came back tomorrow, the premium time would be gone and I'd have no benefit from it. So if you do have premium time, it's generally a good idea to play, to, if you're going to get premium time, play a whole bunch and then, like, Save it for a day when you can have your gaming session. That being said, probably one of the best investments I have ever made on my main account. Oh, wow, that was fast. Um, I can just commentate right through this whole procedure. Ah, let's go Frozen City Night. And Assault. One of the best purchases I ever made on my main account was buying a year's worth of premium. And even better than buying Gearmex or anything like that, it gives you that 50% boost on any mech you run, including be able to um, level them out quicker. It is a fair expensiveness. It's like 20,000, I want to say, 24,000 MC. So it's fairly expensive. It's like 80 to $100 for a year. But I look at it as sort of like it's like an $8 a month subscription kind of feel to it. And... It's especially good because we're heading towards the holiday season. Um, there most likely will be a um, a sale. Um, the Boxing Day time, there will be a, at least from my previous experience with the game, there will be a sale on MC. So you can get your MC with a 20% bonus. And kind of fun to our opponents. And that's a good thing. But we'll fast forward here until we're in the match. Online. Okay. Nothing's so, yeah, just continuing that thought that I was having a second ago. 
If you are going to monetize in this game, I highly advise that you wait for sales. They typically put um, MC, the premium credits, on sale on uh, Black Friday and Easter and um, Boxing Day. Those are kind of the times when they'll do MC sales. And my preferred strategy is wait for those days, buy up enough MC to last me until the next time or however much I want, then wait for the individual item to come on sale. So say there will be a hero mech that I want or a year's worth of premium, I'll buy the MC during the MC sale and then wait until the item comes on sale and then I'm getting like a double discount and I can get um, the stuff quite cheaply. But anywho, I'm just poking on this little ridge here. Ooh, I like this ridge. It's a, it's a nice sniper perch, although everyone knows about it, so people tend to shoot at it. But I like it. Oh, base is being captured. Oh god, they came through the tunnel. They came through the tunnel. Let's head back to base. Now the rate at base is going down... I want to just say it's one person, so let's... We don't have to be super scared about it yet. But we will move back to intercept. I'm going to keep moving to the left. Get another shot into here. And the Arctic Cheater was standing still there for a second. Just going to hold here for a moment. I want to see which way he goes. He comes out this way. I'm going to fall back. Can I get a good hit on him? Base is being captured. No. Let's see here. There's the cheater. We're going to go for the Light Max leg. And try to take away his mobility. And then if we take off his leg... He won't be able to run, taking away the light mech's strength. So that light right leg is really weak now. Get through there. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, that can almost fit. Ah, there. Ally took off his leg, and that Arctic Cheetah is screwed. All right, let's. All right, let's reform. They're gonna push us. So now the opponents taking that distraction have decided to attack us. Which is a good strategy if you can get your opponents to overreact with the amount of people they send back to defend. Which well, we kind of did. I mean, we're not the highest levels of teams here, so we don't have good coordination. But I'm making up for that by doing some good organized damage against that gridiron there. One more volley. Gridiron's down. And we're now winning 4-2. Just, just using this cover here. Ebon Jaguar went by. We're going to shoot into his back. And just try to use this cover. Again, opponents are not torso twisting. And so we can just take a nice, calm, relaxed time. Shoot into the center place those effective shots. It's it's calming. It's it's you're in the state of battle here where you're just like it's all good. Everything's fine. We'll win. Just got to keep on fighting. Let's see. That first starter is f basically stripped. I can ignore him. It's like we have another kill and we're 7-3. We're going to do completely fine here. We're just going to shoot for the armpit on the catapult to take off his side torso. And, ooh, you see that sparkling? You see that sparkling? That was a ammo explosion. That guy got taken out by his internal ammo, and I didn't have to shoot him again. And I got the kill. Oh, it's so much fun when those happen. Raven 3L is about to get taken down, and we successfully defended our base. It was a little bit hectic. Normally, I wouldn't say that we need to send that many mechs back, but it worked out. And we're just going to run down this catapult. We've got this catapult and the raven. 
that was down there left as opponents. Okay. And this cannibal's about to die. Uh, can I get over the hill and get the last shot? Ah, squeeze it off. <laughs> I stole the kill. <gasps> I'm such a bastard. <laughs> oh, well. And now there's the raven down there, which somebody picks up, and we get our next cadet bonus. Excellent. Let's see what our stats are for this game. Oh, oh my god, look at all those Z-Bills, 308. It's because of this premium bonus of an extra 102,000 Z-Bills. It's like I just played another game and got that for free. Excellent. We got 566 damage, 3 kills, 7 assists. So that's more kills and assists towards our goal of the holiday challenge that's going on. And we, number 2 on our team. Excellent. That The Jenner... 2C did very well. Good job to Sentinel Zero. So if we can actually go back to this, it won't, it won't refresh immediately because it's it's got about a 15 minute delay. So if you refresh and go, oh, but my my kills are I have enough now. Why isn't this updated? Play another match, then come back to it. Then you should see that it be updated. But we're gonna get into another match here. Let's go. And we're in another match. This time, Caustic Valley Skirmish. Which, I really like the Caustic Valley map. Even before they updated it and added in the dropships and all sorts of other environmental effects. But, I don't know. This map makes me happy for some reason. Alright, let's move out to our allies. I've been thinking about what to do... Okay, I, I passed a thousand subscribers, and I talked about that in the last video, and it's just like, what do I do? Like, I, I, I have the inclination to do like a giveaway, to do, this is what I was thinking, it, it's, this is not official or anything, so you don't have to do anything for this right now, but I was contemplating saying okay well maybe i'll have a competition or maybe i'll just have a random random raffle or something anybody who puts a comment on the video or would just get entered to um, get a mech pack of some kind it wouldn't be a really expensive one it would just be a nice little one like something like the archer pack uh ooh, there's a mech shot that into him a couple of my lasers Incoming didn't missile. contact the overground missiles. Get out of the way. Oh my god, that tore up on my back. Incoming we'll keep missile. moving here. Watch for those UFs. Uh, yeah, it's just sort of like the idea of maybe uh, an archer pack or a marauder pack. Or one of the Unseen's sort of size, you know, 20 to $40 is the most that I can afford right now, considering I'll be going back to school in January. But I don't know if I need to do that right now, or if that's a good idea, or somebody in the comments suggested that I do sort of like an overview of what my gaming rig is like, and my sort of setup, I could show how I make videos. I'm not sure. But I'll try to figure that out, and I'll try to make it a Christmas video, or a holiday video. That's what I'll try to do. I'll figure out what I want to do for that video, and I'll make it, and I'll put it up on the holidays. And this arrow here, ugh, super crit. We should be able to pick that guy up if we go over that ridge, but we don't want to go directly over that ridge because that looks a little scary. Oh my god, that's an opponent we didn't want to run into. Oh. Thank God my allies are covering me. I lost my leg. All I'm doing now is just trying to tell. I died. That's okay. <laughs> Shit, that happens sometimes. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yes. Unfortunately, those kind of things occur where you just accidentally walk into an enemy atlas and get absolutely destroyed. I didn't even notice my leg went my leg went away so quickly it was like, oh my god. What we shall see. Uh, 
we're just up one mech. If this game turns out interesting from my commentary, I'll keep it in. If not, I'll cut to the end. Alright. So, I decided that that last match was ugh, not good enough to watch. And so here we are in an Arctic Cheetah. Because I'm my, uh... Oh, pff, my mech probably just unlocked there because I just got my cadet bonus from that previous match. Because my mech was locked, so I picked the Arctic Cheetah champion and I'm heading off to battle. I just want to do a little bit of light mechs because light mechs are fun. And I enjoy running around in the Arctic Cheetah. I'll probably eventually get the Arctic Cheetah as my light mech for this playthrough. I'm not exactly sure when, if I'll do it before or after heavies, but we'll figure it out. Whoa, target hello acquired. enemies. New target acquired. Okay, back into cover. So, yes, what was I talking about before that Atlas rudely shanked me and took off my leg? Um, what I would do for my uh, thousand sub thing. Yes, I'm going to make sort of a, a holiday video and do something like that. Target and it'll be nice. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something Warning for the holidays. Incoming. Oh god, misses. Uh, they have UF. Something was knocking out my EZM. That's for sure. It kind of sucks that I don't have seismic. Oh, there's an enemy. AC-10-3 meds. That's okay. I can cope with that. Marauder jumping down. I'll hop to here and I'll help our guys on him. Oh, why, why am I taking damage? Who the hell is shooting at me? That was just an artillery. I don't really have a good sight line of anyone right now. That kind of sucks. Now I'll have to move around. Let's hop up here. This is why I like light mechs. So mobile. And just take some good shots out of this hunchback. Take that side off. There's half of your weapons gone. And this is under your 180 minimum. Ooh. Don't take too much damage. And I'm getting spawning assists there. Oh, excellent. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love this play style of being this really sort of... Ooh, that guy's gonna shoot me. Ow! Pain. Ooh, base is being captured. I'll go back to base. And as the light, I immediately respond. Only lights respond to base. All the assaults and heavies keep fighting. Base is being captured. Alright, let's go around the back here. See if we can come up. Base, 25% captured. Base A little sneakily? Captured. New target acquired. Trying to get this enemy in the back before he can notice where I am and get a good hit on him. Ooh, yep, he's got the pulse lasers. Oh, and there's two of them here. Trying to, I'm trying to actually goad them off the base. I want them to. Base fifty percent captured. Oh God, he took a good hit to my leg there. New target acquired. Alright, I'll try to take him in the back there as my friendly cicada. Oh, friendly cicada shut down. Base is being captured. New target. Just move in here to prevent the capture. Try to get a little bit of damage. This is... Oh, I wish I had better acceleration on this mech. This is the kind of playing I like to do with heavies. Just staying within their 
the range of turning. And more important thing for me here is to just stay alive in this camp circle. Because that makes it so that they cannot hit me. Well, no, not they cannot hit me. They cannot capture the base. Excellent. And we successfully disrupted the cap, and that guy's shutting down. And we pick up the last kill. Oh, cool, and we got an achievement. Less green, more mean. Which means we got five wins in trial mechs, which is kind of cool. We were able to buy our first real mech before we got five wins. Awesome. But 238,000 Z-Bills. 80,000 bonus. Moving on to the next match. Another match. This time, River City. And we're back in the Stormcrow. As it is back from the previous match, from which we tied it over the time with the Arctic Cheetah. Ooh, a little bit of frame drop as we load in there. What I've noticed actually is MechWarrior does an interesting thing with its um, uh, drawing of scenery and stuff like that. And definitely. I bet most games will do this, but it's kind of um, interesting because I, you know, when you have a, the spectator camera and you're doing a f um, premium match, um, what's that called? A private match, and you put somebody in the spectator camera mode, they can fly around the map how, however they want. They're not limited to their mech. So I noticed something interesting as well. Using that, if you go up to a building and then quickly raise above it and see the cityscape behind it, you'll, you'll see that sort of everything will load in really quickly. Um, so they definitely do a lot of um, optimization in the sense of unloading areas of the map you aren't actively able to see, which is kind of cool. Just interesting to see some of the game mechanics at work while playing them. So I'm just scraping the side, just trying to look for opponents. Not seeing anything. Waiting for my allies to all get into position. Always staying moving. Because that way it's harder for people that I may not be able to censor to get a cockpit shot. Ooh. Really? Yeah, you go hide. <laughs> Oop, that's gay. Incoming missiles. It's all good. Fall back to there. Let's try poking out on this side. There is the missiles coming from that location. That's good intel. I want to get into a missile mech sometime soon. My next Stormcrow is definitely going to be the Stormcrow D, which has all of the missile hard points. Oh, that guy took a really big hit from me. A pair of large muscle, a pair of small pulse. Yeah. Building OP. Missiles, who gives a shit? If you play missiles poorly, buildings are OP. Goss rifles, parry, axe. Ooh, they're going to our left, eh? So it might be an interesting battle. If you play missiles well, you can do a fair amount of damage with them. Oh, Hellbringer in the water. Got a good hit on him. Oh, let's get the. Let's move. Let's try to go over and try to punish that Hellbringer for moving this way. Where is he? That guy over there is shooting at him. Oh, crab is out in the open. Normally I wouldn't advise crossing like this, but I know I can get into some cover over here. That cross was a little dangerous. Lerm 50, Lerm 30 Ultras. Hmm. And I popped out there because I knew he was facing away. If you look at the mini-map, you see how his arrow is facing off to the right now. It means that his mech is facing away from me. So I know I can pop it. Oh. I'm getting desync. Yeah, I'm desynced from the servers right now. No one's moving. Uh. Shit. Well. Hopefully when this comes back, I won't be dead. Possibly my mech's running off into that part of the world right now and I'm unable to control it. So... Great. 
we shall see if this comes back. And nope. Online. All right. So the last match exploded, but we have a new match this time on Alpine. And the de facto strategy for Alpine is get the heck to I-11, or not I-11, uh, I-10, I-9. This this four sectors is where it seems the majority of fights begin and end. But the fucking hell. Ah! Mech Warrior crashes! What the hell? Okay, we're back. What the hell? <laughs> Game crashes. God damn. So I had two bugs so far. This episode I had the game all of a sudden destroying the match I was in, and then my actual client crashing, which for a second there I thought was my graphics card crashing, which would have corrupted my entire recording, which would have made me very, very sad, but thankfully that didn't occur. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Oh well. We're in the match, the team took position while I was away, and we're on the Alpines, and he's too far away. Uh, my max range for this large pulse is uh, double my listed range, so 614, so it would be 12, 28. So I can put in a little bit of damage, but really it's it's lowered considerably at those ranges, so it's more or less just a scraping, uh, a, a tool to discourage movement instead of actually punish. Guys, ER larges are probably going to do better than mine at this range, so I don't want to trade. New target acquired. Hmm. What does this Sparky moving out the right? Oh, this is a decent range. I can do okay damage. New target acquired. Try to do some damage here. New target acquired. Ammo's free, so keep shooting. His side is really damaged, so I'm going to try to shoot for that. Although it really is far away. It's quite difficult. This does make it so that having a low uh, sensitivity acquired. on your mouse makes it easier to shoot things. Ooh, our guys on the right are getting swarmed. Come on. You guys can do it. New target acquired. This guy's definitely closer. And I can actually do damage to him. He's within my effective range of my large pulse. So, New did some good damage to acquired. him. Target destroyed. Oh, stole that kill on that guy. New Excellent. And assist with this. Fire starter. Glancing down at my minimap every so often so I don't tunnel vision into my opponents. They're all pushing our right side. New target acquired. Let's call that out. Is that they're pushing around? New target Ooh. acquired. Stationary fire starter. That is always a tasty prospect. That leg was super damaged, so I'll just go for it. Target destroyed. And pick it up. New target acquired. Now, I'm not doing much damage out these ranges, but it's something. At least I'm not being traded upon acquired. by other mechs. The RPPCs will definitely trade with me, so I will back up there. And let's try to poke over the top here. He's got projectiles, projectiles and I've got lasers, which make me... Um, uniquely suited for doing a long-range trading with him because it's much easier to dodge projectiles with a change of speed than it is for him to dodge my lasers. New target acquired. Let's see, Mauler. I'm taking a little bit of fire every time I poke up, but it's not really acquired. 
that scary, so I'm not going to be really concerned. My armor isn't going down that quickly at all. Ow. Okay, that was going down quickly. Back down from there. But it is 6-7. We're not doing terribly bad. We can just rebase slightly. Target acquired. Put in a good hit onto that cicada. Try to pop back up. Let's see what we can get here. New target acquired. That direwolf is in our effective. He sees me. Four large pulse. I do not want to trade with that, really. Acquired. And I want to set up just my arms on three. Although we are down to just two mechs left. This is definitely not a good thing. Doesn't look good for us winning this match. But at least I've done what I can. New target acquired. Put in a good hit into the side torso. We're going to aim for that side again. See, he was looking in where we previously were, which allowed us to get another cheeky shot in. And take the side off. And Cicada is here. And we're going to charge him. Not only do we need to get around this thing to get out of missile range, but we just need to put the pressure on him. Well, that was a really good burn on him. Come on. Okay. That was a good burn. Ah, oh, man, this guy just doesn't take damage. Got him. Alright. The 7 Eleven, I am super crit. I need to start getting some distance here. Target acquired. Target destroyed. It's another down. Need to get some spots. Target acquired. Mm. I need to get one more shot in on this guy and then drop. Base is being captured. Need to move to an area where he doesn't know where I am. Ah, he takes him out. Takes me out. Good game to our opponents. We did the best we could. But unfortunately, he got a good hit on us. Hey, we got a lot of kills, and that was a good match. I don't mind losing, as long as it's a good match. But we get a good amount of sea bills thanks to that premium bonus. Four kills, four assists, and almost 700 damage. We definitely pulled our weight on the team. And all tabbing to look how long I've been recording, I've been recording far too long, so I'm actually going to have to cut a little bit of this video out, and that will be the last match. Huh. Oh well. This was an interesting video to make. There was a fair amount of bugs. There was a fair amount of weirdness. Hopefully the next one will go a bit smoother. But thank you for watching this episode of the Steam Free-to-Play. Good hunting.